everyone, this is Emily Lee, part of Art from the Heart, and I'm so excited to be part of Justine Hovey's Save the Crafty YouTuber video hop. You can read more about this video hop on my blog, and you can find that link below. I'm featuring several products from Concord and Ninth. I was going through my stash looking for cards to mail out, and I was inspired by a set of cards I made as a guest designer. I wanted to make more panda cards, and I was curious if one of the small popsicle dies would be the right proportion in the panda's paw. I'm going to try and make a combination of these two cards using the same stamp sets. The first one is the Hi There Bear stamp set, and this is the set that features the panda. You can stamp an outline and use the panda filler, complete filler, or leave it blank to create any type of bear you want, from polar bears to brown bears. There are so many fun accessories, and I'll end up using a couple of these instead of the popsicles on the next set, which is the Cool Treats Turnabout stamp set. I had planned on using these sentiments and the coordinating dies, but that didn't really work out. This gingham background is one of my favorite background stamps ever, because you can do so much with it, and by using different color combos, no two cards will ever look the same. I start by stamping two pandas. I use Gina K Designs Obsidian Amalgam Ink to stamp the outlines, and then I use Altenew Cloudy Night to stamp the details. I love stamps like this because they're perfect for days when I'm too lazy to color. They also make it quick to put a card together. Initially, I was going to create a floor for the pandas to stand on, but I misjudged the size of it, and I didn't like how it turned out. It was still useful, though, as I ended up cutting this stamped section into four parts for the two cards. I start with Altenew Soft Lilac as a base, then I use Deep Iris, Lavender Fields, and Soft Lilac to stamp the zigzags. You can stamp this accent pattern on the slashes, as I'm doing here, or you can stamp them on the white sections, as I do later. You can also stamp them to overlap each other, or you can leave gaps. Initially, I left gaps by stamping them corner to corner. However, I thought it looked too plain, so I replaced the mask and stamped the same pattern again in reverse order on the white sections to create a busier pattern, and I like that much better. Here, I stopped to show you that the popsicle I wanted to use is way too big for the panda. I could have used it, but it looked a little ridiculous, so I decided to use the bouquet of flowers and cotton candy from the Hi There Bear bundle. The cute bouquet is a layering stamp, just like the bear. I stamped the first one with Altenew Olive and Deep Iris. Then I stamped a second bouquet with Parrot and Lavender Fields inks. Looking at them both, I decided I wanted a mix of the two, so I used Olive with Lavender Fields for my final bouquet. I used the coordinating die to cut the bouquet and set it aside. The cotton candy is a two-part stamp, and I wanted the cotton candy to have an ombre look, so I used the rock and roll technique with Soft Lilac and Lavender Fields. I used Olive to stamp the handle. I've been using these greens because pandas love bamboo, and the greens symbolize the bamboo for me. I picked purple because I've always loved purple with green. Plus, I don't use purple very often, so it's nice to have a reason to use it. I trimmed the gingham background into four sections. Two sections are 5 eighths of an inch for the bottom strip and 2 eighths of an inch for the top strip. I used my design ruler to draw a line and mask off the bottom section so I can stamp the grass in three shades of green. I used Altenew Bamboo, Parrot, and Olive inks. After removing the masks, I adhere all the gingham strips to the cards. I also cut two eighths of an inch strips of pearl glitter cardstock from Concord and Ninth's Neutrals Glitter Pack. I place those at the very top of the card and trim off all the overhanging pieces. To add a bit more green on the card, I die cut two of these little bows from the Hi There Bear dies and sponge them with bamboo and parrot inks. Then I attach them to the pandas with glue dots. I use a clear sparkle pen to add shimmer to the bow ties. For the sentiments, I end up using the Lots to Say mini stamp set, which has so many great sentiments. I love that you can mix and match the classic font with the scripted fonts, and that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I stamp the first part of the sentiment with Cloudy Night, the same ink color I used to fill in the panda. Then I use the rock and roll technique with Parrot and Olive inks to create an ombre effect for the second part of the sentiment. I do the opposite with the sentiment on the second card. After the sentiments are stamped, I use foam tape to attach the pandas to the card bases. Then I use the sparkle pen to add shimmer to the centers of the flowers and the cotton candy. This helps draw the eye from that top glitter strip down to the gifts and to the bow ties. Now my cards are done. Sometimes my finished cards are very different from what I originally planned, but I'm usually glad they go off course because I love the way these turned out. They're much better than my original design, which was rather boring in comparison. I think the gingham strips frame the scene nicely, and I love the way the grass and little weeds look along that bottom strip. The added shimmer and different shades of green and purple will surely bring a smile to the recipient's faces. I can tell you though that my son thinks this panda is extremely creepy looking, so he won't be getting one of these unless my goal is, in his opinion, to induce nightmares. 
I was joking that I would die cut a whole bunch of them and attach them to the side of his bed. <laughs> There are so many sponsors and prizes to be given away during this amazing video hop. In fact, there's a prize being given away at every stop. I'm giving away a gift certificate to the Heavy Doodle Shop worth 35 British pounds. Be sure to comment for your chance to win any of those prizes. The more you comment, the higher your chances of winning. Comments will close on April 5th, 2020, and prizes will be announced on Justine's blog and YouTube channel on April 10th. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe to see more videos. As always, please visit my blog for more details, photos, and a full supply list. Be sure to check on the link below to visit the next amazing designer on this video hop. Thanks so much for watching!